Girls, what time is it? It's the time! Yeah! It is. We're going to go on the Nebo Loop. We haven't done that for a long time, and we have never done it as a family in this car. Um, let me show you where that is. Some of the prior trips that we've gone on uh, would be the Spiral Jetty. This is out here on the edge of the Great Salt Lake, and this red line is showing the drive that we took. And if you'd like to see that video, just click on the card here. Uh, here is another one we did out to Rush Valley, just out in the middle of the desert, and I'll put a card here as well. And then today we're going to be doing a drive around the Nebo Loop. Uh, Mount Nebo is this uh, white-capped uh, little mountain right here. It's actually one of the biggest uh, peaks in Utah. And uh, I'm going to show you the elevation change as we drive through this loop. Um, as you can see, the elevation changes from about 4,500 feet. Um, you can't really see that over there, but over here it goes down to about 45. And then up here at the peak, it gets up to about 9,350. And so I'm going to be showing you uh, what it was like driving it in our Tesla Model S. Power consumption is, of course, very high as you're going up into the mountain. And then you have the regen braking that slows you down going down the backside. And so it's really cool to see how well it works. And it's actually an amazing vehicle. It doesn't, we didn't have to use the brakes at all going down the backside. We actually regenerated electricity instead. And so let's jump into it. This is the loop part down here. I can't really show it on the screen here because Tesla doesn't let us do like point to point navigation. So I'm just navigating to the Nephi supercharger here. Uh, I don't think that we will need to use the supercharger. Uh, we are currently charged up to 83%. We picked up some food from In-N-Out off the freeway on our way down, and I'll spare you the time lapse of the long line there at the drive through window. That large spike of energy that you see right there in the middle is us getting up to speed on the freeway. Then the energy consumption on the interstate levels out at around 332 watt hours per mile. I was trying to get the car to navigate us onto the Nebo loop, but it just kept taking us on the freeway, so I had to wait until we got up into the mountains. And then finally the car would route us through the Nebo Loop Road. And as you can see, the power consumption really spikes as we're going up. We're currently on the Nebo Loop, getting up closer to the top of it. And you can see our power consumption has been off the charts at uh, averaging 544 watt hours per mile currently. Um, I've routed us to the Nephi Supercharger and it estimates that we'll arrive there with 46% battery. And we are currently at 50% battery. Yet we still have 29 miles to go. So the difference there is obviously we're going to be going downhill a lot on the end of this route. We just stopped at a pullout and you can see Utah Lake. So we're going to get out and explore. You excited to explore girls? Yes? Yeah. All right, let's do it. <laughs> girls, do you want to go down this trail? Okay, follow me. Follow me. We hiked down some of the trails that were in that area and enjoyed the views and explored the flowers and wildlife. Uh, the girls had lots of fun and uh, you can see the views here are just really stunning. This entire drive, including the stops and exploring, took us just over three hours to complete. Uh, we started this at about 6 p.m. in the evening, and that's later than we normally would start an adventure like this because the kids tend to just fall asleep and then they don't go to bed at bedtime. Uh, but we were going to be doing fireworks after dark, so they were going to be up late today anyway. Uh, so we just decided to go ahead and do this fun adventure since we had the time to do it. And I had been meaning to uh, do this route in the Tesla anyway so we could see how it goes. It was a bit of a spur of the moment ride and so that's why we started with 83% on the battery because that's just where it happened to be charged to be when we decided to leave but I knew we'd make it. We've started the uh, section that is mostly downhill and uh, you can see here on the map where we are and uh, that uh, very uh, uh, energy intensive section is where we were going up into the uh, Nebo loop and now you can see the green has just begun. Uh, and right now our uh, battery is at 44% and uh, the road is still extremely windy. In case you missed it, the watt hour per mile consumption there was 569. So super high, but that's about the highest it got. And then now that we're going down the hill, we uh, started to regen and have these gorgeous views. Occasionally we could see Utah Lake through the mountains on one side or on the other side. 
we would just see the mountains going off into the distance. Our average power consumption on the first half of the trip was 492 watt hours per mile and that was up until that lookout over Utah Lake. And then the second half of the trip, which was in the entire rest of the Nebo Loop, mostly downhill and all the way up I-15, that average was 214 watt hours per mile and consumed 20% of our battery. Now keep in mind our car is the 2015 Tesla Model S 85D and so this entire route took 60% of our battery and that is 127 miles. The whole trip consumed 48.31 kilowatt hours which at 10 cents per kilowatt hour that is $4.83. Our driving efficiency for the entire day was 85% and the temperature average was 87 degrees so it was pretty warm for the, the whole drive but when we got to the top of the nebo loop it was a bit chilly up there there's usually around a 15 to 20 degree swing in temperature between the valley and the peak of the mountain all right we are done with the main part of the nebo loop that is in the canyons if you look here this is where we are on the map now and looking at the energy consumption we had a lot of consumption and then a lot of regen uh, averaging 241 watt hours per mile now. Um, the car is estimating that we'll arrive at the supercharger with 46%. However, we uh, really don't probably need to go to the supercharger. So uh, we had to wait for a little bit to get reception, but we have now navigated back to uh, our general area and you can see it just says we'll arrive with 23%. So we're just gonna go ahead and get on the freeway. We're currently at 47%. We were pleasantly surprised and pleased by the beautiful sunset that we saw as we were driving home. And when we got home, we plugged the car in and it charged from 23% to 80% and that took five hours and four minutes. And that was charging with our level two charger at home, which is a Juicebox Pro 40 plugged into a 50 amp circuit. If you're curious to see more about our home charger situation, uh, click on this card up above that will pop out and that will be a video that I created showing how we charge both our Tesla Model S and our Nissan Leaf in the same garage together. I like to create these Tesla road trip videos to illustrate what it's like to travel in an electric vehicle and the subtle nuances that are different compared to internal combustion engine vehicles. If you've liked this video and you are interested in seeing the other ones that I'm going to be uploading in the future, uh, please click subscribe to my channel, change that bell notification to all and you will get notified every time I upload a new video. What are you girls singing? Sing it loud, Lucy. <laughs> you girls are funny. We are almost home. We got uh, about five more miles to go. And um, our energy has been pretty low, energy consumption. We are back and it got dark on the way home. Looking here at the car, we're arriving home with 23%, which is about what the car had estimated. And uh, I'd say that was a fun little uh, scenic trip. And uh, we did not even leave with a full charge and uh, not even <laughs> up to 90%. And we still had plenty of range to do this uh, fun uh, loop in the mountains that is available uh, around where we live. I hope that was informative for you and uh, a beautiful scenery to see. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.